Nebraska Examiner published the report accusing the gubernatorial candidate of sexual misconduct with reports from eight women. That includes State Senator Julie Slama. Now we have live team coverage of the big story at six. Alex McClune is standing by with reaction from the other candidates running for governor. David Earl looks at the response from local officials. First, though, we go to Michelle Bender, who's been tracking developments on this story all day. She's live in the studio with details on the allegations. Well, Julie Robb, State Senator Julie Slama says she's not trying to get media attention and only wants to tell the truth. Charles Herbster is defending himself, saying he intends to sue for libel, insisting the claims are 100 percent false. Now, Governor Pete Ricketts, who has been an outspoken opponent of Herbster, calls the groping accusations, quote, beyond horrible. Both Slama and Herbster spoke this afternoon on KFAB Radio. In her own words, in a radio interview with KFAB, State Senator Julie Slama addresses the allegations of sexual assault by Republican gubernatorial candidate Charles Herbster. As I was going in, walking to my table, I felt a hand reach up my skirt, up, up my dress, and the hand was Charles Herbster's. I was in shock. I was mortified. It's... The, one of the most traumatizing things I've ever been through. Slama says the alleged incident happened in 2019 when she was 22 during a Douglas County Republican fundraiser. She says moments later. I watched as five minutes later he grabbed the buttocks of another young woman greeting her at a table near the front. This, this was witnessed uh, by several people at the event. According to the Nebraska Examiner, in total, eight women are making similar accusations against Herbster. I absolutely 100% deny all of these accusations. I have spent my life, number one, respecting ladies, respecting women, regardless of their age, and I can assure you that I have empowered them. I have trained and worked with them. Herbster fired back, calling the claims libelous and 100% false, and also in an interview with KFAB, called it a hatchet game. I heard these rumors, I heard these accusations over a year ago. Unfortunately, I know that's what takes place today when you're in politics, when you're leading the race. Herbster says the story is a ridiculous, unfounded, dirty political trick being carried out by Pete Ricketts and the candidate he's endorsed, Jim Pillen, pointing out that Slama is Ricketts' former campaign press secretary, who he appointed to her legislative seat. This is a damning story, and that's why Charles Herbster should end his campaign. He's, the, sexual assault is something that should disqualify anybody from being elected office. Ricketts says he did not know about the allegations until he read the article. This is something that Charles has brought on himself by doing these actions. So this is why, again, if you're going to commit sexual assault, this is not something that can be tolerated in any part of our society. Well, Herbster says he won't let this deter him from running for governor and plans to continue to campaign. I did ask both Slama and Herbster for on-camera interviews. Slama referred me to her statement, and I have not heard back from Herbster. Now, Herbster says his legal team will be filing that lawsuit.